right, guys, welcome back to some more webcam duels. So, as you can clearly see, I am using my new webcam, my uh, Logitech uh, 1080p nice tasty webcam, but of course, it uh, came with some technical difficulties, of course, because I can't have anything just be perfect. So one thing you'll probably notice is that the audio sounds different. And the reason why the audio sounds different is because for some freaking reason, the webcam does not want to work with my mic, with my, uh, with my uh, snowball. Nope, doesn't want to work with this. So, yep, I am actually using the webcam on the web. I'm, I'm, I'm using the webcam on the I'm using the microphone on the webcam. So that's probably why it sounds a little bit different. So I apologize. Another thing, uh, this is actually recorded post commentary. That's probably why I'm not really talking about what I'm doing. This is actually recorded post commentary because I recorded and another problem with this thing is that it does not want to sync up with Camtasia. If I try to record with Camtasia, not only does it just completely cut out all the audio, but it also doesn't record the webcam at all either. So uh, this is post commentary for right now, so I'll go ahead and talk about my plays. Of course, we are using the uh, new and improved uh, uh, Red Eyes Ubel deck. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, uh, from now on, I will go ahead and synergize. So I'm going to record using the, my webcam program. I'm going to go ahead and record my webcam, and then I'm going to record on Camtasia, and I'm just going to sync them up. So this is actually recorded post commentary. So as you can clearly see, uh, we're actually running the rituals in this Red Eyes Eval version, and I definitely feel like this is the better version. So uh, Knight of Dark Dragon is just an awesome card. You are able to tribute it to summon a Red Eyes from your deck, hand or deck. So of course, I can summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal freaking busted right so of course red eyes darkness metal effect i'm gonna go ahead and summon me my knight of dragons back and because i i do run manju because manju is just a great adding uh, consistency to the ritual place uh, i decided to go ahead and uh xe here into lava chain as you can clearly see because i can actually extend my plays more with of course lava chain a couple people think it's banned because it's you know it's an enabler but you know there's not a lot of enabler uh rank fours you know there's maybe like you know, Gear Guy and X and, you know, King of Fairland, but there's not a lot of them. So I was debating on which card to send, uh, just because, you know, I had my Call of Hunts in the Wasteland, so I decided to send you Bell, because I'm thinking that my opponent's going to have, like, a Dark Hall or Regeki. So if I send you Bell, my opponent's going to Dark Hall or Regeki me, I can go ahead and chain, summon Terror, right? But then I can also send Light Pulsar, because when Light Pulsar is destroyed, I get to go ahead and summon, I think, a level 5 or higher Dark Dragon, which, of course, I would summon Red Eyes, Darkest Metal, and those two kind of blue. So uh, in the past, when Chaos Dragons are predominant, as you can clearly see, I, just like I thought my opponent was going to go ahead and Dark Hole slash Regeki me, so he go ahead and Dark Hole's me, I summon Terror. But like I said, in the past, when I ran my Supervised Bell deck, predominantly it was back in the Chaos Dragon format, where, you know, Future Fusion was still legal, and Red Eyes Darkness Middle was like the ring, Chaos Dragon was like the best deck. I would face this deck a lot, right? And the problem with the deck is that, sure, I can go in you, Bell, and I can Terror you, but if you have Red Eyes Darkness Metal and Cast and I mean a light pulsar dragon, they would kind of loot. The light pulsar dragon would summon uh, would summon uh, red eyes dark smell, red eyes dark smell summon, and they would just kind of loop each other. So that's always been a problem in the past. But now I'm actually trying to utilize that ability for myself to have those to be as beaters while I sit on tear. So you know I'm just like oh you know uh, red eyes dark smell, summon light pulsar. You know attack attack. Oh tear white tear uh, light pulsar summon red eyes darkness metal red eyes darkness metal summon light pulsar so that was the plan anyway so my opponent goes ahead and dark soul me sets one card which of course you know i'm gonna go ahead and just swipe him so i run one dragon's mirror and the problem i ran into with dragon's mirror of course is that uh uh also, also one of the powerful things uh dark dragon ritual has that second effect that uh if it's in the graveyard during the turn, except during the turn that sensor graveyard, I can go ahead and banish it to add a red eye spell or trap. So, you know that little uh, black metal uh, guy that I used to run? No, fuck him. I like this better. It's much faster, much better. So I can either get my red eyes transmigration to go ahead and summon Lord of Red, or I can go ahead and get me red eyes fusion, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and grab me a red eyes fusion, which I can't use. And that's the problem right now uh, with tributing the red eyes. I only run one red eyes. Uh, maybe I can up it to two, maybe, but right now I run one Red Eyes, one Summer Skull. I don't want to clog them even more with drawing them, but of course, you know, if they're F1, I'm going to draw them because it's a number generator, right? So the problem is, of course, Red Eyes is in my graveyard, and I could go ahead and, you know, activate my Call to Hunt to summon Red Eyes, then use Red Eyes Fusion. But then, of course, you know, Terror is still on the field, so I was trying to think what I wanted to do there. You know, I was thinking, you know, wow, you know, I wish I ran another... Uh, Lavalva Chain, because if I had an additional Lavalva Chain, then I can go ahead and then send uh, 
uh, light pulsar and then do that play that I was just talking about before. But uh, right now, I really can't do much without, uh, you know, overstanding. So I just like, you know what, script, take it a little slow. So go ahead and have Terra wipe your set monster. So, uh, you know, Red Eyes Fusion, uh, go ahead, send Summon Skull and Red Eyes from my, what, hand, field, or deck to the graveyard to go ahead and summon. So he's playing some kind of nimble among us. So, of course, it only gets effect when it's destroyed a battle. Terra destroys my card effect, so no effect. Nice. Uh, and then, you know, when this when the Summon Skull and the Red Eyes are in the graveyard, you know, Dragon's Mirror. Why not? You know, I'm, at that point, they're not really that useful. Uh, this deck doesn't really u utilize the actual normal monster Red Eyes as much as other Red Eyes decks. So, you know, I totally don't mind. Go ahead and banish it. This is where my opponent tries to literally fuck up. <laughs> uh, he summons, you know, uh, Dragon Unity, oh, is it Ankylis or Ankylis or whatever his name is. And uh, as you can clearly see, it says when this card is normal, so you need to special summon one Dragon Unity monster from your hand. So I'm like, okay, so I'm one dragon mushroom from your hand, and all of a sudden he goes into his deck. Like, yo, from your hand, you know? I typed that real quick. I'm like, hola, 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 hola. No. So uh, he's like, oh, my bad, and then he just stops, right? Which is totally fine. It's totally fine. So upcoming now, my opponent is going to activate probably one of the most complicated cards to deal with on freaking DN Exchange. And Exchange... <sighs> Uh, you know, it's just a hard card to deal with just because you can't really put your opponent's cards in your hand because they would, if you say two hand, it would go back to your opponent's hand because, you know, it's originally their card. They, you know, they own the card, you know, so just to make sure that you don't mix up each other's graveyard and, and, you know, they probably could program it in, but, you know, so he wants to go ahead and select my Dragon's Mirror, which is fine. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'll activate it, but there's, you know, there's no card to change control, a spell card, you know, for the monster I could, but there's no charge card to change control. So I was sitting there trying to figure out, like, you know, I don't really know what to do, you know, I'm just like, I, I don't know what to do here, you know, I guess I could just go ahead and, uh, you know, keep it on the field whenever you want to use it, which I seriously doubt you're going to go ahead and use it. But if you want to go ahead and use it, uh, I'm just going to plan on just keeping it here. But then he was like, you know what? Just put it in the, in the monster zone and then change control. I'm like, genius. Yeah, you can call, you can totally do that. I'm like, yeah. But then even if it's in his monster zone, he still can't return it. So I guess he could like put it in his spell and trap card zone and count it as in his hand. But, uh, you know, I'm just like, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it here. You know, I'm not trying to cheat you or anything. But exchange is just a complicated card, you know? Yep, so I'm just like, oh yeah, move it to Monster Zone, and then go ahead and change control. So, there you go. You can have it. Alright, yeah. <laughs> that would work. You know, and then he's gonna go ahead and show me his hand, and, you know, exchange is just a complicated card. It's like, ah, you know? There's just a couple cards on DN, which is just, like, really complicated, you know? So he's just gonna go ahead and show me his hand, and, of course, I get to pick something out of his hand, and add it to my hand, which, of course, I can't do that, because then if I add it to my hand, if I say, you know, two hands, it's gonna go back to his hand. So, you know, I'm sitting here trying to decide, you know, I could take the defender, you know, all of them are really what I want. They're all level four monsters. So, he, you know, he tries to click in hand and it returns it to my hand. That's like I thought that was a problem with exchange. So, I could have just, you know, re-recorded this and done it properly. But uh, not only does this video actually show off a little bit with Red Eyes, you bell can do it, maybe uh, incentivize, maybe uh, putting it on vitamin Y like I want to. I mean, I have the freaking thumbnail made for it and everything, so I really want Red Icy Bell to work. But uh, I just didn't, I thought this, you know, this duel was kind of funny, and the next duel, you know, uh, the, my my opponent just drives me crazy with his just, uh, you know. So I go ahead and give him the Dragon's Bear back, and he's like, give him that. And I'm like, wait, are you talking about, you know, the Blizzard Dragon? I'm assuming he was talking about the Dragon's Bear, but I think he was talking about the Blizzard Dragon. I wasn't sure. But I was like, you know, I choose Blizzard Dragon. You know, uh, Blizzard Dragon, I don't want you to go ahead and summon it and, you know, make it so I can't attack upcoming. You know, I'll go ahead and take it. I'll go ahead and keep it. So once again, uh, he's still trying to, you know, figure out how freaking exchange works and like i said it's just a plain dick card it's just like that one card where you like flip your deck you know it's just like it just doesn't work on dm it's just a couple of cards that just don't really work on dm like that so uh we kind of pseudo got it working but once again i'm like just go ahead and keep the card like it's your, it's your card i mean i don't know what you're going to go ahead and do with it. So I'm just like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and banish it. We'll go ahead and count it as the card in your hand. It's your card. And then, of course, my opponent is like, you know, exchange is resolved. And then my opponent's like, oh, you know, I summon, you know, my Dragonity. And then we go ahead and set a card, too. Like, why do you get two summons? Like, you already summoned this turn, sir. So calm down. I'm just going to go ahead and banish that. Uh, so I'm going to take my turn on Armageddon Knight. So 
I was sitting here trying to think, you know, what I wanted to go ahead and do. So, of course, uh, for some reason, I kept on thinking that Blizzard Dragon is on my field, but it's technically in my hand. So I was thinking about going ahead and uh, normal summoning Blizzard Dragon and then uh, maybe possibly using the Call of Hante. Like I said, this is the part where I definitely wanted more of a Hall of Shame because then, you know, I could go uh, activate Call of the Haunted. Okay, then my opponent just quits. But I was plan my plan was to go ahead and summon, uh, you know, one of my two level four monsters, either the Blizzard Dragon or my Armageddon Knight. Activate Call of the Haunted, summon Manju, XC into a second level chain, which I wish I ran, which I should probably go ahead and run. Uh, go into, uh, in, I mean, level level chain, not actually send um, um, the Light Pulsar, which I was thinking, but actually send Summon Skull. Then I can go ahead and activate, dra oh, no, wait, he took my Dragon's Mare. Ah. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? If he didn't take my dragon mirror, then I could go ahead and activate Dragon's Mirror, banish the red eyes and the summon skull, summon first of dragons, which I also do run. And uh first of dragons would be nice and powerful. So you can clearly see here the number generator is nice and generous. Uh, not only does it give me freaking uh red eyes fusion, but it also gives me my dragon's mirror too. Preparation of right. Uh which of course I can go ahead and search a level seven or lower uh ritual monster, i.e. uh my black was it black no, knight of black dragons or knight of dark dragons? So, my opponent here is running an odd deck. He is running a plant, light swan thrown in, infernoid deck. Yes, people, you heard me right. Infernoids, you know, they can go ahead and run light swans as an engine because Charger Light Brigade. You know, if Charger Light Brigade wasn't a thing, I probably wouldn't even run light swans, maybe. You know, maybe Raiden just because, you know, then mill during the main phase. But I probably run cards like Card Trooper because those light swan end phase mills are a little bit too slow. So that's why I like cards like Raiden. But he's running, you know, the 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 Raiden. He's running the Solar Recharge, too. Um, you know, so you go got Solar Recharge, Pitch Raiden. Mills, absolute crap. No Infernoids right now. And that's what I'm saying. When you run Infernoids, you've got to keep a nice balance. You've got to keep that Infernoid count high because you want to go ahead and have them in the graveyard. So he's going to go ahead and banish uh, uh, Petrulia and I think two Petrulias and go ahead and summon a Tondal, which uh, will only get one attack because you got to kill one of my monsters. I don't have any monsters. I decided to go ahead and take it slow. So he's going to go ahead and slap me in the face with the Tondal for 28. Take it. You know. And like I said, I want to get this duel in because not only does it show the power of Red Icy Bell because look how well I opened up, but it also, uh, this is a funny duel. Now, I wish I could have got my natural reaction to him just fucking up because I was losing my shit, but I apologize that I can't. And like I said, I'm going to get this work. I'm going to get it work. Next time webcam duels, I'm going to have it totally work correctly. Like I said, I'm just going to sync it up. The webcam will be recording me on webcam while I'm using Camtasia to go ahead and record, uh, the the screen and i'm just going to sync it up you know on in uh camtasia so of course i go ahead and send my summon skull my red eyes with red eyes fusion go ahead and summon my uh, black dragon because why not nice and powerful right so go ahead and kill the atondal i was thinking like well you know why don't you go ahead and chain and banish like wait you can't uh, activate anything when i just got my attack i guess he could activate when i went into battle phase he could activate its effect but you know eh, eh, you know insane so uh, of course i can't summon any i can't summon and when I activate Red Fusion, which sucks because I have so many plays. Like, look how good my freaking hand is. He's gonna go ahead and activate Needle Thug's Nest, which I personally think is a really good card in and uh, in Infernoids. I run in my Inferno deck on daily rules. I think it's a really good card. Uh, you know, not only is it a trap card, so it won't get in the way of my reasoning, but I get to also send five. It's MST bait for Infernoids, and you know, it's a little bit slow, but I personally don't mind it. You know, so I uh, activate Needle Thug's Nest. He uh, goes ahead and mills his uh, cards, so takes his turn, uh, and he's going to go ahead and banish and summon Unuchu, which will, of course, kill my uh, uh, my uh, Black Skull. But the thing that's nice about Black Skull and, you know, Red Eyes, Dark Smell, and stuff like that is uh, it doesn't have to be summoned properly. You know, it does not have to be summoned properly. So uh, that's awesome, really awesome, is that. It doesn't have to be like that. So, of course, I'm like, you know, Anuchu is a dark hole, not a Regeki, so go ahead and kill your glow bomb. So, I can go ahead and, yes, I can go ahead and activate the Call of the Haunted and, you know, summon the Red Eyes, uh, I mean, the Black uh, Skull Archery back, you know. I can Soul Charge it, you know. They don't have to be summoned properly, so, you know, that's totally awesome. It's not like, you can always summon this card with a Fusion Summon. You know? This card can only be Fusion Summon, it can't be such a in another way. Nope, if I summon properly, then here comes the Revival, so that's awesome. So the thing with this deck is I think it's probably one of the first Evil X that doesn't run Limit Reverse, just because Limit Reverse only works with Evil. You know, it, Limit Reverse has no other synergy with any other current deck. So I wanted to go ahead and activate Call Hunt to debate him out because 
I don't want him to go ahead and tribute and negate the spell cards in my hand. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and activate Call of Haunted. Either you negate it and tribute to move your monster, or I'm going to go ahead and Call of Haunted my Black Skull, and I'm going to run you over, and you're going to lose your neutral anyway. So I was just like, hey, you know, you might as well just go ahead and negate my Call of Haunted, right? Because, you know, you're between a dick and a hard place, so you might as well just go ahead and take the dick. So, you know, number generator, of course, he has the soul charge, so he's going to go ahead and soul charge it up, but of course, you cannot summon any of his Infernoid monsters. So... At least I don't have to worry about him, you know, summoning a Nutri back. But, of course, he's running that plant kind of engine. So, you know, he's going to go ahead and summon his Lone Fire, his Red. And this is where it gets bad. Like, this is where it gets, like, super bad. Like, this man misplays like crazy. And I'm, like, yelling at him every single time I'm trying to correct him. I'm like, no, you're doing that wrong. No, you're doing this wrong. No, you're doing that wrong. And he just keeps on going, you know. So he's going to go ahead and pay 4,000 life points to go ahead and summon those four monsters back, which is totally fine. So, uh... You know, I don't have to worry about him, you know, hitting me directly or anything like that. He already conducted his battle phase, so this is, of course, main phase two. So, you know, I'm not really scared. You know, what I'm pl planning on doing next turn is, uh, you know, summon Manju. Manju, go ahead and search me, uh, my my uh, my Knight of Dark or Black Dragon. I can't remember his name. I think it's Knight of Dark Dragon. Then Ritual's tribute to Manju. Ritual, summon him. Tribute him. Summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Go ahead and summon me a dragon from my hand or graveyard. Summon me my freaking uh, powerful... Uh, um uh black skull back from the graveyard so as you can clearly see he goes ahead and uh lone fire go ahead and summon dandy right in effect mill two which is totally fine right but uh then after that i can go ahead and play dragon's mirror i cannot summon another black skull dragon because he can only be special summon once per turn but i can go ahead and summon first dragon so i can have a first dragon a red dark metal and my black skull back on the field with the cards that I have in my hand. And I still have preparation of rights. So he's going to go ahead and play Monster Gate. Number Generator. <laughs> so Monster Gate, go ahead and tribute uh, uh, the effect value. And he's going to keep knowing he runs right into Illumina. So you can clearly see the plants and the lights ones are kind of clogging how much um, you know milling he can do with Infernoids, which uh, definitely seems like a problem. So he's going to go ahead and Synchro Summon those two, the Dandelion and the Riding, which of course is the tuner to Synchro Summon into... And this is, and it, it gets worse. Like so far, he's not doing anything bad. Black Rose, and of course, he's not going to Black Rose his own field. So he's going to summon the two tokens from Dandy, which is totally fine. You know, uh, Synchro summon the the Glow Bulb and the Level One token from Dandy, and of course, follow me with Synchro. Like I said, this is not bad, right? This isn't bad yet, of course. You know, uh, for my Synchro draw card, that is totally fine. This is where it fucks up. So he's going to go ahead and Synchro summon the Formula, the Black Rose, and the Loon. Are you ready for this? Synchro summon into. Go ahead, Quasar. Really, nigga? <laughs> really, nigga? <laughs> like, no, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you know? I'm like, I, and he, he just sits there, and he's just arguing with me. He's like, go on, dude, run. I'm like, no, you did it. I'm like, you have one tuna synchro monster. That's the check. But you don't have two or more non tuna synchro monsters. Unless, all of a sudden, freaking Lumina's a synchro monster, and I did not know that, then yeah, sure. And, you know, if Lumina's a synchro monster, then yes, you go ahead and get your effect. So, I'm sitting here telling him, I'm like, no, no. Two non-tuner synchro monsters, you know? Formula is your tuner synchro monster. You still need, you know, so, and, you know, unless you have a level three tuner synchro monster on the field, then, yeah, sure, go ahead, you know. If it was Formula, Black Rose, and then the level three synchro monster, then, yes, you have Quasar. But he clearly does not have Quasar, not with what he has in, on the field right now. And what he's trying to go into Quasar, that's a no-no. So, I think this is probably the second time that someone tries to fuck up with Quasar. I mean, it's not that hard, you know? You just read it, and you can clearly tell. So, yes. Uh, yes. Black Rose is not a, a, a Tuner Synchro. Yes. Formula is your Tuner Synchro monster. Now, I'm trying to tell him that, yes, you got your Tuner Synchro. You got one non-Tuner Synchro monster. You need another one, you know? And he did, he's just going right over his head. He's like, oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. As you can clearly see, my hand is just super busted, you know? So, I, even after I do that play, I can still just go ahead and go, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, I still have prep next turn, you know? And prep can, of course, get me my uh, Dragonite search and go ahead and search me for, uh, uh, get my ritual card back from my graveyard if I wanted to, you know? But I'd probably go ahead and banish it just to go ahead and search for another uh, Red Eyes card. So he he's he's just not getting it, people. He is just not getting it. He's like, I don't I don't understand what you're talking about. So 
you know, I'm, I'm trying to tell them, like, yes, you need, you know, two or more non tuner circle monsters. You only have one. You only have Black Rails, so you can't go into Quasar. And then finally he gets it, you know, finally he understands. But that's not it. This is, this is not over, people. This is not over. The snuggles are not over. If turns not over, snuggles are not over. So, uh, he's going to continue his turn. He, he, he realizes, oh, yeah, you know, I can't go into Quasar, which is totally fine. You can't go into Quasar. What else are you gonna do? So I'm sitting here trying to plan a hand head. I'm like, you know, maybe he can go into like our maybe circuit tasker, that's not gonna do anything. Maybe a Goyo Guardian, you know, it's an axel synchro of a uh, formula on my turn. So I'm just like, you know, I'm planning out my plays ahead. I'm still trying to plan my plays out ahead. And uh I'm gonna try to see what he is going to do. So he is once again going to uh try to figure out some plays. What is that? He's going to use the effect of uh, Lila, which is, I th not Lila, it's Lumina. <laughs> what did I say Lila? <laughs> it's Lumina. Uh, pitch, and go ahead and summon Raiden back. Then he's going to try to activate Raiden effect again, which he already activated this turn, if you remember. And I clearly tell him, no, you can only use this effect of Raiden once per turn. It clearly says right there on his, his card. I'm like, no, you can't do that. I put it back. No, put it back. You can't just go Raiden effect, then he leaves the field, comes back, and then do Raiden effect again. I'm like, no. It's not once per turn, you know, if you can only use the effect of Raiden's effect once per turn. So it doesn't even matter if he leaves the field and comes back. Like, no, you can't. <laughs> you know, I guess I can. No, you can't. Like, read him. So he's just going to completely ignore me and continue his plays. You know, I'm sitting here trying to tell him that, no, you can't. But he's just going to freaking uh, uh, keep on going. I'm telling you team that you can't do that, but you want to go ahead and ignore me. You know, for some pe reason, people still believe that I got to cheat them to beat them. So, you know, I'm just trying to keep the game state repaired. I'm trying to keep the game fair, and you're just literally fucking up. So he's going to completely ignore us. I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead and put him back myself. You know, I'm going to go ahead and put the two mark cards that he mailed back on top of his deck like they should be. You know, I tell him to shuffle, but of course he doesn't because he's in his own fucking world playing his own fucking game of Yu-Gi-Oh, completely ignoring anything that I do. So he goes ahead and executes him Draco Sack. That's fine. That's legit. Draco Sack effects, some of the two tokens. That's fine. The tokens are actually level three. Draco Sack tells you the tokens are level three. So he's going to go ahead and sink not into eight because three plus three plus two is eight, but he's actually going to go ahead Ahead and synchro summon into four because he thinks that the tokens are level one when it clearly says the tokens are level three. But once again, he's going to keep on ignoring me. You know, that dandelion token is level one, but those tokens aren't two. So he's going to go ahead and banish two infernal monsters to go ahead and summon his uh, freaking monster, which of course he clearly cannot summon, you know, because even if he could sink into that four, <laughs> you know. That 4 plus the 7 Drugger Sack, that's clearly 11, which is way more than what you can do to summon the Fernard monster. And then, once again, he's going to sink up something into a goddamn Quasar, which I just told him that you can't go in that Quasar like that, but he's going to go and do it this way, which is... Yeah! Like, oh, my God. So fucking bad. So fucking bad. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't him. I can't fucking see him. Like, wow. Like, how many times? And then he quits. Like, wow. Just terrible. Terrible. Your dad, your dad was bad. Your players were bad. And you were just cheating all over the fucking place. Just, oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> so, that's it. He quits. And I was just sitting here talking about the plays I could do, which I already explained. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, people. So, here is the first episode of What Can Duels with my new webcam. Like, I apologize. Uh, I apologize about the audio quality. Like I said, I'm using the webcam uh, audio because for some reason it just doesn't want to work. I literally, I recorded, and it fucked up. Like, I recorded this, it fucked up, and I literally sat there for four hours trying to get this webcam to work. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, you know, changed my USB. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong? Why isn't this shit working? Finally, I was just like, it's just fickle, you know? I was just like, does it work with Camtasia? Nope. And I, and then it was like, hey, choose a microphone. And I was just like, I want to use my I want to use my my blue snowball microphone. And then it fucked up. So I'm just like, fine, use the freaking microphone on here. And it's like, oh, we're working just fine. So I was like, wow, just you know what? Fuck, you know what? Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. So then I draw soul charge, which you know, yeah, soul charge. That's even more busted. That's even more freaking busted. 
So uh, I'm just showing off some of the plays I could do. Like I said, I already talked about the plays, but I actually misplay because I totally forget that I cannot, you can only summon one uh, Red Dragon Heart Streams per turn. So I'm just like, oh yeah, I'll go ahead and summon two, which of course I can. But it would actually be better if I actually don't summon the additional Red Eye Dragon Heart Streams because this was the plays that I was hypothetically thinking in my mind. You know, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. So I'm just like, all right, you know, tribute, go ahead and um, summon my Red Eyes Darkness Metal. You know, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Effect, go ahead and summon me back uh, my, uh, you know, but it clearly says right there in the first sentence, you go and special summon one of him per turn. So I'm just like, you know, Dragon's Mirror, banish these two, and then summon another one him, which of course I can't. So I couldn't even do this play even if I wanted to and summon an additional one, but it would actually be better to go ahead and summon first to Dragons. So I, it would actually be first to Dragons, because I can't even summon him. So it'd be first to Dragons, like I said, these three, just this would be my field. You know, I can go ahead and, you know, activate my preparation of rights. And I was actually thinking, I was like, and do I want to activate it? But I was just like, you know what, I'd rather go ahead and activate it because the search that I'm getting is not that good. And I can always just go ahead and put it back. So preparation rights, powerful, card at one, you know, necros. So I was actually deciding here, it's like, yeah, do I want to do that? It's like, yeah, you know what, I'll go ahead and take it. Because really, the only card that I can go ahead and search for uh, remaining is uh, my my card for Lord of Red, and I'm clearly not playing something. So, um, like I said, I'm speaking hypothetically. He's not going to have the Quasar, so I'm just going to kill his field, right? And he'll probably survive. So, I was hypothetically speaking, I'm like, well, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, you know, he has the ability to go ahead and summon that Affirma, because, you know, what he did with the Sentimus, he couldn't have done anyway. So, he would have enough to go ahead and summon that Sentimus. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put these back in the graveyard because they should, that's where they should be because you could never even summon them in the first place. So, I was giving the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, you can go ahead and banish those two, summon Sentimus, go up all the top card off your deck, summon, and then go into Hot Red and then wipe me. You know? So, of course, if he wipes me, my, all my shit is gone, which sucks. But, uh, I would have first the dragons on the field, first dragons would be unaffected by the hot red, and I would survive. So I was trying to think, I was like, man, so this is what I'm going to go ahead and send, because I was thinking hypothetically, I'm like, he's going to go ahead and hot red me, he's going to go ahead and wipe me. And like I said, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, because the way he is playing, I seriously doubt he wouldn't, A, even have hot red in the deck, let alone go into that play. But uh, yeah, I would have first the dragon. So uh, clearly I was thinking, like, oh, fuck, you know, I'm going to be fucked, because, you know, I can go ahead and activate this whole charge, which is nice, but, uh, uh, I can go ahead and activate the soul charge, which is nice, but then of course I can't attack. So I'm sitting here thinking, like, you know, and I, of course I take 3,000 from Hot Red. I'm sitting here thinking, like, wow, well, I got 2,000 light, light points left. I'm like, what can I do? I'd like to pull out something with soul charge. You know, I would love to go ahead and just go, you know, you know, soul charge, summon Red Eyes, Dr. Smell, Dr. Smell, go ahead and summon one of my Earth Trains, which would be great, but then once again, I'm going to get Hot Red again. So, you know, I'm sitting here dueling myself. My opponent is the long gone, but I'm sitting here talking myself, dueling myself, trying to hypothetically generate this duel in my mind with the the, the best outcome. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go ahead and activate soul charge. I'm going to pay 2,000. I'm only at 200 light points left. I'm going to summon the two level fours, and I'm just going to go into one-on-one -on -one and take your Hot Red, because you're going to be pretty much out of place. You're going to be out of resources. I think I have one card in hand, drawing into two. And this is pretty much as far as you can take it because I don't know what you're gonna draw. You know what the, the two cards he draws uh, definitely will uh, help determine a duel. So I'm gonna go ahead and take your red eyes dark. I mean your hot red. I have the call of the haunted, which of course call of the haunted. You can you know call the haunted uh, red eyes darkness metal. Red eyes darkness metal summon my uh, you know my red giant eyes from that. But I keep on forgetting that I would still have uh, first of dragons on the field. So I would have won this duel because one on one where I took his hot red, one on one attack, first of dragons attack. That's game. So I would have won. Anyway, I'm done speaking hypothetically, so like I said, I will get this right. I'm going to sync it up. Next time we do freaking webcam duels, I'm going to sync it up. It's, um, I'm going to use the program that the webcam uses. I'm going to go ahead and record my webcam, and then Camtasia will, will record on screen the duel, and I'm just going to sync it up. Uh, like I said, I, there's nothing I can do about the mic quality. There's nothing I can do, but you know, you're changing the mic quality for this nice 1080p live, uh, webcam duels live video. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, you know, this is the most you probably get to see of my house ever, but, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys next web webcam duels, if you want to go ahead and see more of the Red Eyes Bell deck, be sure to comment in the comment section below, but if you, next time webcam duels, you want to see one of the other Bell decks that I'm in the current process of making, you know, Evil Hero Bell or Umber Bell, be sure to comment in the comment section below, so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next time with some more webcam duels. All right, people. Thanks for watching.